I never wanted to be a journalist. Uh, whatever I am, a, a YouTube journalist or a street journalist or a citizen journalist or a journalist. Uh, my, my family calls me a, a persecuted YouTube journalist. But my intention never was to become a journalist. I, I was a software salesman and I sold technology and I was happy doing that and I made very good living doing that. And uh, other than all the other downsides of being a quote unquote journalist is the, uh, the attacks and, and there is no money in journalism. Um, but I think everyone has a point in their life where they see something uh, that they're depending on, and that they trust in the news. I was a, a CNN watcher, um, and I watched the whole lineup, um, and just had kind of grown up with that. Um, I'm 59 now, and I've been doing this journalism for about almost going on four years now. Um, Crowdsourced journalism, uh, open source journalism, uh, but. There are certain things uh, that just make you realize that what you're seeing is just not true. Uh, it's fake, and uh, it's worse than fake. It's it's contrived and it's it's designed, uh, engineered to uh, have you arrive at a certain conclusion. And it had been going that direction, I think, over the last 20 years for me and seeing the separation between presentation and reality. But at some point, you lose all faith where there's a complete a disconnect between reality and, and, uh, and this presentation that you're being given on CNN and, and the other networks as well, to a lesser degree. Uh, and at some point, you, you decide to do something about it. I was a... As I said, a CNN watcher, I was a, a Bernie supporter. Um, and the 2016 election was sort of a watershed, a bellwether for me. I looked at the treatment of Bernie Sanders, who uh, for all of his maybe left leanings and people accusing him of communism and so forth, he was, he was talking about things that where I grew up in Ohio and uh, Indiana and Illinois, uh, spending some time in Michigan. Um, these were things that he was talking about that were very important to people in those states. He was talking about jobs and rebuilding the infrastructure of our country. He was talking about how jobs were being exported to China. Uh, he was talking about different people uh, like Mitt Romney, who carpet-bagged the Midwest and the factories in the Midwest and sent them overseas for overseas joint ventures for Bain Capital. And he was talking about bringing manufacturing jobs back. And if you're not from the Midwest, you, you don't know how important manufacturing is to the, just the whole self-worth of everyone who lives there. These reporters now, they fly everywhere. And uh, they don't see the people and the towns as different things are happening. And, um, and how, uh, just how middle town America uh, lives and breathes. They, they lose that, they fly over that, and they lose a sense of, of who America is. And I think, you know, from what I've seen now, I, reporting, it just seems like they spend time either at, at studio, from one studio to, the, to another.